Bayes' rule is a formal mathematical mechanism for revising probabilities as new information is received. If you have ever taken a probability course or a decision analysis course, and you have had to learn Bayes' rule, you will probably agree with a majority of students that it is neither easy nor intuitive. Fortunately, starting in version 6.0, Precision Tree has a simple tool for implementing Bayes' rule. This can be useful as part of a decision analysis, where information learned early can influence later decisions. It can also be used, as demonstrated here, for simply seeing how probabilities change as new information is obtained. The context here is a problem that received some notoriety among amateur and even professional statisticians a few years ago. It is based on the old TV show, Let's Make a Deal, with host Monty Hall. You can even do a web search for Monty Hall Bays to read more about the controversy. There are three closed doors. A new car is behind one of them. Worthless prizes are behind the other two. The contestant has to choose one of the doors. Let's say the contestant chooses door one. Then Monty, knowing where the car is, opens one of the other two doors, making sure he does not reveal the car. Let's say he opens door two. Then Monty asks the contestant whether she wants to switch doors, in this case from door one to door three. In any case, she wins the car only if her final choice has the car behind it. Would you switch? Or would you argue that there is no point in switching? This problem can be analyzed easily with Precision Tree and its new Bayesian revision tool. The relevant probability tree is shown here. We assume that the contestant has already chosen door one. Then prior to any further information, the probabilities are equal that the car is behind door one, two, or three. These equal prior probabilities appear on the left. Once the door with the car is known, it is clear what Monty will do, as shown by the chance nodes and branches to the right. If the car is behind door one, Monty will flip a coin to decide whether to open door two or three. They both have worthless prizes behind them. However, if the car is behind door two, Monty will surely open door three. And if the car is behind door three, Monty will surely open door two. Bayes' rule is necessary because the contestant needs to flip the tree to get the nodes in the opposite order. The reason is that the contestant will first see the door Monty opens. At that point, the contestant needs to know the posterior probabilities of where the car is, given Monty's action, to see whether she should switch doors. To apply Bayesian revision, you first build a probability tree such as the one shown here. It should be symmetric in the sense that each chance node on the right should have the same number of branches with the same names. Door 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Then right click the chance node on the left, select Bayesian revision, and accept the defaults in the resulting dialog box. When you do this, the tree automatically flips, as shown here. Now Monty's action is on the left, and the location of the car is on the right. Can you see that the contestant should switch, no matter what Monty does? Monty will certainly not open door one, because the contestant has already chosen it. As you can see on the left, the chances are 50-50 that Monty will open door two or door three. If he opens door two, the posterior probability that the car is behind door three is two-thirds, which is twice the posterior probability that it is behind door one. In the same way, if he opens door three, the posterior probability that the car is behind door two is two-thirds, which is twice the posterior probability that it is behind door one. So in either case, the contestant is twice as likely to win the car if she switches. Some people think this analysis is all smoke and mirrors. In fact, some people continue to believe that Bayes' rule is, quote, controversial. However, everything here rests on firm mathematical ground, and there is nothing controversial about it. The key to understanding the apparent paradox, that the contestant can do better by switching, is that Monty has supplied some useful information by showing her a door where the car is not located. 
This information, together with Bayes' rule, allows her to improve her chances of winning the car by switching doors.